Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're going to get into some of this option activity for this week as well as for June 16th because you have a very strong possibility of seeing an actual gamma squeeze throughout the rest of this week if not up until June 16th and the way some of the options are priced there could be a pretty good opportunity now on top of that we're going to look at amc on a technical basis as you guys do know i'm sure by now four dollars 80 cents per share is really an accumulation zone in which we bounce right off of that level and you are now above five dollars per share a lot of people are starting to speculate how high amc can go now that this technical pattern that we have been watching for has actually come to fruition so i'm going to give you guys a little bit of what i expect as well here in this video so let's get into it hit that like button and subscribe to the channel source your comments questions or concerns down below in the comment section so number one let me just tell you guys none of this stuff matters in terms of what's going to be the next pop off top kind of move for amc whether it's up or down it comes down to the courts it comes down to how this arbitrage trade is is going to settle out now what we have seen from the 13 f filings and what we are seeing as of positioning in amc stock it's not telling me at least that we're destined to fall it's not like you're seeing a whole bunch of bearish positioning expecting a big drop and i think that's important to point out there there can be bearish positioning that is somewhat neutral, slightly bearish, or there can be bearish positioning that is like ultra bearish. And we've seen that in the past before with AMC. Uh, so I think it's important to distinct between those two. And you're not getting that ultra bearish positioning on AMC stock. Now, with that being said, why I'm bringing up this court situation is because any time now, literally tomorrow, in after hours today, next week, or the week after that, you're going to get more news on the special mastery recommendation. Now, that's kind of the last thing that we are missing before we head into the court date on June 29th. Now, we're going to get the recommendation from the special mastery, and then based off of that recommendation, the judge is, is going to say well, how she feels uh, uh, about this case and what should happen here now the judge said she is open to wrapping this up by the end of june that implied to me that maybe you would get a ruling on this before june 29th before june 30th there would be some kind of action taken now my stance has not changed i think a revote is uh, you know, a very real possibility of just common stockholders. I think that is the overwhelming um, consensus view of a lot of people that were sending letters to the courts. And my personal opinion, I really don't care what happens. I think you get a short squeeze either way this thing does play out. But here in the meantime, between now and an update that's coming from the courts, again, could be any time, you can see a rally in AMC stock. You can see a gamma squeeze start to unfold so let's take a look at some of these numbers guys so for may 19th that is going to be on friday today is wednesday tomorrow is thursday and then the day after that is friday now why i think you could specifically see a couple strong days throughout the rest of this week with amc is because of how the options actually work so the options expiring may 19th they don't have a lot of time left expiration. We've seen these hedge funds pile into these options over the last couple of days. And when there's not a lot of time left to expiration, you see hedging a lot faster by market makers as well as by hedge funds. If these options, you know, if, if you were seeing a lot of option activity, which we have around July 21st or June 16th, there's still some time left. So it's not like, you're running down the clock on some of those options. But two days to expiration, that's where you can see a lot of fluid moves in the option market. And that's why I I, I don't know if I, I coined the saying or where the saying came from. 
They're like mega bounces, right? Fueled by these options that run in or out of the money within two to three days left to expiration. That's where you can get some of the most aggressive, you know, rallies or falls for that matter, right? Now, taking a look at this Friday's option expiration for AMC stock, you have calls in the money at 38,000. You have calls out the money at 345,000. So right there, I mean, you have three times the amount of calls out the money compared to in the money. And we're going to look at the actual strikes in which the open interest is being held at. And let me just tell you, a lot of this open interest is held just out of the money, like not far at all out the money. Now in the money puts 219,000 out the money puts at 299,000. Now this is a more, you know, one-to-one -one ratio, right? But People forget a gamma squeeze typically is when calls go from into the money or, or well, calls go from out of the money into the money. That is bullish hedging pressure. Well, when puts go into the money from being out of the money, market makers, they go out and they short stock. They have to, right? That's what their job is. Well, when those puts go from into the money, out of the money that is the equivalent of calls going from out the money into the money and that can be known as a reverse gamma squeeze when you see a lot of puts being placed on a particular stock and this has happened recently with amc and then market makers have to go out and short stock just the opposite of gamma squeeze but that doesn't get as much attention but when that unwinds that can cause some pretty big rallies now Let's go ahead and take a look at the option activity for May 19th. Now, for May 19th, if you take a look at the call side and we want to see the open interest. So the open interest for the 550 call, $5.50 call, 25,000. Open interest for the $6 call is at 29 or uh, 59,000. So right there, just round that up to 60,000. You're looking at about 85,000 contracts that could go into the money if AMC gets to the $6 strike. And that is not to mention any additional contracts that could be placed from now until Friday, right? Because obviously when AMC likes to rally, a lot of people go out and they buy those riskiest options. Not something I would ever say to do, but it does happen. All in all, that's about six and a half million shares that could potentially be bought just by this Friday by market makers if AMC stock makes it to $6 per share. Now, why are these numbers important? Well, it's the volume, right? If AMC on a typical day as of recently has seen volume in the range of, you know, 10 million, 13 million, well, six and a half million is half of a day's worth of volume. That is sizable. That is very sizable and would likely give you an upside move. And that's not to mention any other buyers that come in, any new options that, you know, were to come in if AMC stock were, were to rally over the next couple of days, right? So that's sizable, of course, right? That's half a day's volume. That's pretty good. But if we also look at the put side, because if AMC were to make it to $6 per share, in which a lot of people are calling for, the puts going out of the money as well would be buying pressure from market makers also. And if you look at the 550 put, you got about 15,300 puts that are currently in the money. If you look at the $6 put, you have about 30,000 puts that are currently in the money. That's about 45,000 total puts up to $6 per share. So those would go out of the money. That is what? 400, uh, 4.5 million shares that market makers would have to buy. So you add six and a half million plus four and a half million 
you're looking at 11 million shares potentially needing to be bought by market makers if AMC stock, get this, can rally. Uh, where's my... Uh, if AMC can rally from where we are currently at right now to $6 per share, which would be a move of about 18%. AMC stock can easily do that in one day. It can easily do that within the next two and a half days. And 11 million shares is basically what you see on any given day for volume. So you're really at an important level here for AMC heading into the close of, of this week because if you do start to get a bullish reaction in AMC, it might not be able to be stopped. Now, that's not going to stop hedge funds from trying to stop a rally with AMC. We've seen them doing this. They have been doing this. This is no surprise to everyone that watches these videos here on this channel. That's what they are doing. If we take a look at the option activity here today, overwhelmingly bearish over the last week or two now and large orders. We didn't used to see put options and single trades being in the millions and millions of dollar ranges. But now most of these trades are millions of dollars a piece. If you take a look at the June 16th $10 put worth $1.42 million. If you look at the May 19th $13 put worth $4 million. These are trades placed today alone. July 21st $10 put worth $3 million. Another May 19th $13 put worth $4 million. Now the break even... On some of these options, right? For an example, uh, they bought the $13 put expiring May 19th. They paid $800 for these options. That means their break even is $5 per share. That means that they are underwater on this trade already. So if you start to even see AMC making a another leg higher from here, not even getting to $5.50 per share. If AMC can get to $5.25 per share, $5.35 per share, you're going to see some of these very large trades as well start to lose a lot of money. This is a $4 million trade. At that point, these institutions are either going to have to take that loss, right? And because these expire by May 19th, a lot of these, or they're going to have to go out and hedge these positions or sell these positions in which that would allow the market makers to take off some of the shorts that they have on AMC. Now, why am I particularly bullish for the end of this week? Well, we've seen option activity like this. This is no surprise. Like this has been the case. I've been going over this with you guys. It's been happening. But what you were seeing today is AMC is finally catching a bounce after a previous six-day red streak when you're getting this type of bearish option activity. That is a very bullish sign to me. That even though you're seeing tens of millions of dollars in options, bearish options placed on AMC, AMC stock is still up. 2.77%. You're coming to a tipping point. If AMC sees another green day tomorrow, it could ramp up throughout the, the rest of the day, right? If you open, call it 1% higher, you could ramp up throughout the rest of the day, aka that gamma ramp, and see an exponentially higher day tomorrow than what we are seeing today. Now, Fridays can be very big days because a lot of people like to purchase those zero-day uh, expiration options, right? Zero DTE options. I'm sure you guys have heard all about this and it tends to be a pretty common phenomenon. Well, getting to that last day, a lot of choices have to be made by market makers. And we know retail, love it or hate it, loves to go into short-term trades. We love to buy the stock when the stock is going higher. That's why you're seeing more bullish buying pressure today 
than you did yesterday. It's because AMC is now in the green. So when I put these factors together, I'm pretty bullish for an end of the week rally with AMC stock. Now, this rally could continue into the next week. All depends. But a lot of these options trades don't actually settle right away. A lot of the times they go to clearing houses, you get T plus two settlement time, right? So these, these things happen. So even a rally throughout the arrest of this week could lead to a rally next week. And I think that is a, a way in which you could get to these levels that people are calling for that $9 price. It could be due to some of the options that we have been seeing. Again, if you have been watching this channel over the last couple of days, couple of weeks, you know there is a lot of bearish options that have been placed on AMC. Once you start to get the bullish sentiment coming back, all of those bearish options turn into potential buying pressure for AMC. Those multi-million dollar orders, when they get de-hedged for, when they get sold, when hedge funds see that they are wrong in their positioning that then turns into a bullish catalyst for amc that turns into bullish buying pressure for amc and i think that's a very real possibility now is this a guarantee absolutely not i am not a financial advisor i would not guarantee anything to you guys because none of this is a guarantee but based off of the data that we're seeing it looks more probable than not for this week to see a gamma ramp into the end of the week. Keep in mind, it's been a long time since they made a video about a gamma squeeze on AMC. It's been months because it just hasn't been there quite the way that it's here now with AMC. So that is what I got for you guys here in this video. We have a lot of other things to go over uh, in the next video as well. I wanted to just narrowly focus on this topic here for all of you guys because I think there is a very real potential and you know just again I will reiterate I know I said it in this video if we ramp up throughout the rest of this week that does not mean next week has to be negative I would expect if you ramp up tomorrow and Friday to see a continued ramp up next week as well at least in the beginning of the week next week also guys so that is going to do it here in this video hit that like button and subscribe to the channel source your comments questions or concerns down below in the comment section let me know where you guys think amc stock is going to go by the end of this week as well as the by next week as well right this is relevant for next week again per the t plus two settlement time and the way that options actually settle they don't settle in real time they might settle in your portfolio in real time but on the back end of that as far as institutional traders not so much. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.